All right, so I've been playing with P55 boards now for a couple weeks, and uh, so far I think this has been my favorite. Haven't actually gotten to use it, but feature-wise, absolutely incredible stuff. It's the deluxe model of the P7 P55D. Incredible. Check it out. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, so here's the P7 P55D Deluxe uh, from Ace, who's very, very nice motherboard. Lots of extreme features. It's going to be great for overclockers, great for workstations, great for gaming rigs. Uh, pretty much everyone's going to love this. Now, it has the same basic features as all the other P55 chipset-based boards, uh, but it's got a lot of really, really cool, uh, like, Asus features, lots of little little golden childs that you're going to love, little nug golden nuggets. Uh, good stuff, gem of a board, I love it. Uh, let's talk real quick about the basics, get that out of the way, and then we'll go into some of the more extreme enthusiast-based uh, features, uh, such as the Turbo V and the uh, little overclocking remote control that it comes with, some crazy stuff. Uh, now, first of all, as you guys know, this is a uh, socket 1156 board for your Linfield processors from Intel, Core i5s, Core i7s. Uh, those are all going to fit on here, uh, but P55 is a all-new platform, so it's not the same thing. It's a separate socket for the chip, uh, and they got rid of the north bridge. As you can see, there's nothing here, no north bridge, so all the PCI data is going directly into the chip, uh, and so is the memory all the way into the chip. There is no more QPI. It's uh, going to using a DMI, direct media interface, directly into the chip. The P55 down here handles the rest of it. It's called a PCH, uh, Platform Controller Hub. That controls everything else, literally. USBs, Ethernet, all that's controlled through this chip before it goes uh, over to the CPU. Also, you'll notice that without the Q QPI, uh, they have also left out the triple channel memory thing. That was only for X58. Uh, so here you're going to see dual channel memory, and that's actually a good thing. A lot of people that already have X48 systems or DDR3 systems, uh, they can reuse their DIMMs. You can throw them in here, the board will automatically run them at 1.65, uh, but you don't have to buy an extra stick of memory or two extra sticks of memory, you just toss what you have in there, so it's really good. Now, uh, this can take up to 16 gigabytes of memory, um, and it will work up to 2,133 megahertz, no problem, and higher. It will overclock as far as you want. Now, natively, it supports up to 1,333. It also supports the 1,066, and you can do 1,600 with a uh, XMP type of OC profile deal. Uh, basically, it'll just you know do a factory overclock. 1,800 and 20, 2,000 and 2,133, you'll actually have to manually overclock and insert um, the specs. Now, looking at the PCI Express on this board, uh, very, very nice stuff. You have three PCI Express X16 slots on here. Now what happens is that there's 16 uh, slots in total coming from the P55 chipset or coming from the CPU. So uh, basically everything is going to have to be shared. So you have 16 going down. If you populate one card, you get X16. If you populate two cards, you get X8, X8. And if you do all three for triple SLI or triple crossfire, three-way crossfire, you're actually going to get uh, X8, X4, and X4. Now on top of that, they also have uh, two standard PCI slots and you get two PCI Express X1 uh, 2.0 slots as well for peripherals, uh, cards, sound cards, TV tuners, you name it, they can all go in there. Uh, lots of good connectivity as far as that goes. Uh, now talking about SATA, there's a lot of SATA on here too. Check this out, you have six SATA ports right here. Uh, these are actually uh, Intel matrix storage technology, so they're going to give you RAID uh, 0, 1, uh, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, and 5. Uh, you also have a couple extra SATA ports down here. These are controlled by a separate uh, Marvell controller. That's the same one that controls the eSATA on the back of the board uh, and basically anything else, but these are going to be a separate chip. These can do RAID 0, I believe, and RAID 1, uh, but you're basically going to use these for your main hard drives and these for storage if you have any left over. Uh, also, on this board, you will see that you do have a, an IDE interface if you want to use that to get data off an old drive. You got your 24-pin motherboard connector, and then up here, uh, you got an 8-pin for your 12 volt CPU power, and basically that can either be a 4 pin or an 8 pin. It's really up to you. It comes blocked off. Um, another thing that's really cool to notice about this board uh, deluxe boards come with the extra features, and on this board, you might want to know what those features are. Well, uh, let's start off on the back panel. You'll see uh, dual gigabit LAN. That's going to be the first big feature that you get on a deluxe board. Uh, you're going to have uh, two PS2s over here. Uh, you also have a bunch of USB 2.0 ports. It's actually eight in total on the back. There's another additional six via header inside the board, so it's a lot. That's 14. Uh, USB ports. You have SPDIF in both uh, coaxial and uh, the SPDIF optical. Uh, again, the dual gigabit Ethernet. You have Firewire, eSATA. You also have the first of its class, I think. I'm pretty sure I've never seen this before. This is 10 channels of audio. That's 9.1 channel audio. I don't even know if they make speakers or receivers for that yet, but hey, you're future-proof and you're ready to go, so that's that's pretty interesting stuff right there. Uh, also, looking on the inside of the board, uh, just take note that you do have an additional FireWire header 
right here. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much all the basics that we're going to get on this board today. Uh, let's get into some of the cool features. Uh, I'm going to ask you to look over here. See that right there? That's Turbo V Remote. Very, very cool uh, new thing from Asus. Now, the Turbo V Evo chip that's in here, uh, what it lets you do is pretty much overclock from the operating system uh, very easily. And then what the remote does uh, is let you use this little remote control to do it uh, with, you know, without having to open a program. You can literally be in the middle of a game or in the middle of a benchmark and you can just lower your bus speed. Uh, on top of that, on the back of here, there's a little uh, reset pin that clears your CMOS. Very, very cool. Uh, you also can set up all your different profiles, your turbo profiles. You can enable a bunch of features uh, from the overclocking, the Turbo V overclocking utility that Asus provides you. Uh, you can do a lot of good stuff. You can set it to manual mode. You can mess with EPU on here. So if you want to save power, uh, you can drop down the EPU settings uh, to go to a lower setting. It'll throttle back your CPU and everything in your memory. Or if you want to go all out and overclock, you can set it to another setting and it'll crank everything up. Um, so that's really good. Now, on top of that, uh, 16 plus 3 phases of power. So your VRM circuitry is over here and uh, you have 16 phases for the CPU and you have an additional three uh, for the memory which is absolutely uh, awesome. You see all these caps too, how they're very pretty and nice looking. Those are uh, Japanese made solid state capacitors. So those are definitely not going to uh, break on you. They are going to work very well. Uh, really good stuff. You also have down here at the bottom, you have your power uh, and reset buttons which are really uh, convenient to have in case you're benching it outside of the case or testing it before you install it. Clear CMOS button on the back is another really popular feature uh, to have on these things. Uh, now uh, we're going to switch into some even more uh, crazy stuff here. If I can just find it on the board. Where is it? There it is. Okay, check this out. This is some wild, wild stuff. Uh, this is your turbo uh, OC stuff right here. Now, pretty much what this is, is these are OV switches or over voltage switches. Uh, when you flip these on, it's going to give you extremely high voltage selections inside of your BIOS. So in case you're overclocking with liquid nitrogen or phase change cooling or with dry ice or anything of that sort, uh, you're going to get a massive uh, amount of voltage that you can run. It's going to pretty much let your options go way higher than you would ever go without extreme cooling because, of course, you would melt your chip. Uh, so these are on there. And there's three them in total, um, OV for your DRM, for your DRAM, for your memory, um, for your integrated media controller or the uh, memory controller that's on the board that controls your memory. So if you're going to do some extreme bandwidth and you're going to overclock your memory very high with extreme cooling, uh, you want to turn this on so you can run very, very high volts, probably like in the two point something range, high two point something range. And then finally your CPU, which is going to let you go uh, really high on your vCore and on your um, termination voltages as well for your CPU. So uh, that's a very, very interesting feature. Uh, another thing you might want to know about this thing is uh, that it uses the Stack Cool 3 Plus. Now that's their new PCB uh, layout. Basically, uh, it's a thicker board. This is easily one of the stiffest boards I've ever seen. Um, even compared to the, uh, the just the slightly lower end P55 boards from Asus, this thing is thick. And that's because it uses Stack Cool. You see on the back too, uh, Stack Cool is also present. You see a big plate, uh, big plates here for your uh, circuitry, for your voltage regulation circuitry. That's going to keep everything cool, keeps it secure uh, and mounted well on the motherboard to make sure it, it survives shipping very well. Uh, and it also just, of course, helps with power delivery and it also helps with cooling. Uh, you know, the circuit board having extra layers in it uh, is going to help everything. I mean, that's really one of the things that it, it, you can't lose on. Asus plans in the future to increase how many layers they put on there. So they add an extra two layers. Next board, next generation, a few years from now, we might be seeing an additional four layers. Who knows what's going to happen then? Uh, also, just keep in mind that uh, this is an Asus board, so you get all those premium features features that you're used to getting. Uh, I can't even begin to start and get start with them, but uh, you know, EPU, throttles back and computer saves you power. Uh, Q shields, very nice. They're padded on the back. That shields you from uh, electromagnetic interference. It makes them a little quieter. They don't rattle. They're nice and labeled and painted. Uh, you get Q connectors. So if you've ever seen a Q connector, basically uh, just to plug in your front panel connectors to this first and then one plug into your motherboard. Uh, you know, again, uh, this little overclocking thing is just really ridiculous. It plugs into your TPM module to the header of your uh, total protection module and basically does works through the uh, Turbo uh, V Evo chip. Really cool stuff. You get a uh, crossfire bridge. You get a manual. And then, uh, of course, there's you know, SATA cables and, and firewire brackets and USB brackets and eSATA brackets and all this other stuff in the box. So um, very, 
Very, very impressive motherboard. Very uh, good for overclocking. Has a lot of really, really cool features. Great software comes included in the box. You can run SLI. You can run Crossfire. Uh, tons of USB 2.0s. Uh, dual channel memory as fast as you want to go. And then the high-end overclocking features, the solid state caps, the turbo uh, voltage buttons or the uh, OV button, over voltage button switches. Those are really cool. LCD poster. All that great stuff is on here. So really, really nice board. Uh, it's the P7 P55D Deluxe from Asus. As usual, if you have questions, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Asus P7 P55D Deluxe motherboard, type in A455-2902 into the search engine of any of these major retailers. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.